Recently, KSFY News was given exclusive access at home with the three front runners for South Dakota governor. At 5 o'clock, we went to Burke to talk to Democrat Billy Sutton. And later tonight at 10 o'clock, we'll head to the Castlewood home of Republican Christy Knoll. Right now here at 6, we're going to spend some time at the peer home of Republican Marty Jackley to find out why he is running and what he wants to get done if he's elected next November. It's a story you'll only see on KSFY. Being South Dakota Attorney General while running for South Dakota governor leads to some long days for Marty Jackley. Up at 6.30 in the morning, and the day doesn't typically end until 2 o'clock the next morning. Frankly, my neighbors are always pitching in to take care of the, the pets and the kids, and so I recognize that it's been kind of a group and team effort. So free time with wife Angela, son Michael, and daughter Isabella is a rarity and something to be cherished. So you've got number one and number two done, other than this one. We spend a lot of good quality time back in the Black Hills, uh, on the farm or the ranch and, and getting to do the, the, the family things that, that I think we so enjoy being together. Jackley was raised in Sturgis. He earned a law degree at the University of South Dakota in Vermilion before opening a private practice. In 2006, he was confirmed by the U.S. Senate as South Dakota's U.S. Attorney. In 2010 and again in 2014, he was elected State Attorney General where he has taken a strong stand against the human trafficking of children for sex. Now he wants to serve kids in a different way. And now I want that opportunity to fight for their future, to work to get those better jobs, to strengthen education, fix health care for them. Doing all of that, Jackley says, boils down to improving the health and well-being of the South Dakota economy. We are going to need a strong governor that understands how to lead people and how to address budgets. Those budget issues are getting tougher to navigate. According to the State Bureau of Finance and Management, sales tax revenues in South Dakota were $6.4 million less than expected for August. In September, a rebound, 3.6 million more than expected. But then last month, another slide, 5.6 million less than projections. Jackley says South Dakota needs to do things differently when it comes to growing the economy. That's why our next governor needs to be bold, show strong leadership on value-added ag. I believe that having out-of-state companies not have to pay any taxes where we're making our in-state companies pay it is wrong. Jackley wants to use the state's strength, agriculture, to create more jobs. But he also says a federal loophole allowing internet companies to not collect state sales tax needs to be closed now. Numbers from the State Department of Revenue show South Dakota could lose upwards of $50 million in sales tax revenue from internet sales this year. There are things we can do as a state to increase that revenue so that we don't have to increase that tax burden on South Dakotans that already pay too many taxes. But should one of those things be to increase or create another type of state tax? Absolutely not. I'm a strong believer good government takes a look at what expenses we have, looks for opportunities for better government to look at cost savings. Jackley tells me one of his political role models when it comes to responsible leadership was the late South Dakota Governor Walter Dale Miller, who had a multi-generational friendship with the Jackley family. Walter Dale Miller goes so back uh, a long ways with our family. In fact, Walter Dale Miller is the person that told my grandfather that my dad was born. Jackley grew up around Miller and sought out his political advice, and it's advice he keeps with him to this day. I attribute him to a lot of my interest in politics. It was him taking the time to talk to that young kid. I mean, he, he wasn't Governor Miller to us, he was always Walter Dale. Miller was known for his solid negotiating skills with other lawmakers, the result of serving 20 years in the House of Representatives. Jackley says as Attorney General, he has developed solid bonds with legislators of both parties. It's positioned me to understand how to lead and to be able to work with people to get, get the job done. We asked Marty Jackley to tell us what South Dakota means to him. And he says to him, being a South Dakotan means enjoying an above average quality of life. We get to enjoy wonderful people, smiles on everyone's faces. We balance that budget. We make sure we take care of people that need taken care of. And Jackley says he is looking forward to meeting voters across the state and hoping to get to know them as himself and not just be known as the Attorney General. Coming up tonight on KSFY News at 10, we will travel to Castlewood to spend time at home with Republican gubernatorial candidate Christy Nome.